Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Hyun is a girl with attitude. For many fans, the legendary K-Soloist's name is almost inseparable from her bold tapestry of confidence and charisma, woven together through 17 years in the music industry. Like peas in a pod, the 32-year-old performer seems to embody the definition of attitude, as if it were somehow innate, a natural part of her. Yet, she smiles and waves away any thoughts of a purely gifted talent. Training, she emphasizes, to our channel. I've always been training and going to the studio. Whether I'm working on an album or not, I always try to use my time smartly, on something that doesn't betray me. I always have that mindset that attitude to maintain charisma for 17 years. Attitude certainly includes fashion, and the model hasn't failed to serve looks since her 2007 debut with the K-pop sensation, Wonder Girls. Even as she chats with our channel, her personality radiates through her bold cheetah print hat, which sits just above her light red hair framing a face of pink blushed cheeks. Few K-pop artists have ever experienced a career as long or as trailblazing as Huna who was a part of the iconic group 4 Minute before embarking on her solo career in 2010 with debut single Change. The rapper's influence has reached levels to where pop fans even outside of K-pop have seen her featured in PSY's ultraviral hit, Gangnam Style, in 2012. The Hina of 2024 is now alive with a new attitude, an evolving artistry of a new era that the songwriter hopes will shine through with her new album and upcoming North American tour. The latest EP, Attitude, is the performer's first comeback in nearly two years. It consists of four tracks that display a new side of Huna, while simultaneously living within her beloved genres of pop, dance, and RB. In track two, the music video of Q A Whisks fans away to the cinematic streets of Bangkok, where they can observe Huna in a different light. Instead of the assured and sexy Huna in the first track, fans see how she's exploring the more vulnerable aspects of a new love. Against a backdrop of lyrics that depict a back-and-forth relationship, a honeymoon era unfurls with dancing in the living room, playful paint fights, and the rush of a motorcycle racing down the streets. Whenever I write a song, I always think about how I'm going to be seen when performing. I always have that mind control in writing, she muses. At the same time, the performer acknowledges that the new album is inspired less by the type of music that people watch, the kind with those familiar striking visuals and girl crush dances and more so by the kind of music that people listen to. I'm famous for being very good at performance, so must people acknowledge me as a performance artist, or just for the visual aspects, the singer says. But this time, I wanted to try a lot of different genres, and want to show that I also have this musical ability. Right as the RSVP performer felt this desire, she came in touch with Groovy Room, a producing duo she wanted to work with for nearly a decade. Under the duo's hip-hop label, Attitude came to life, along with her freedom to participate in every aspect of its production. The first song, Attitude, was a track that I presented like the first day of school, she says. As the album's progress went on, the staff or groovy room always asked, how's this? How about that? That's how naturally they all went about the discussion. With 17 years in the industry behind the lip-hip singer, change is something that's no longer as scary as it is exciting. Thanks to a dedicated support system of fans, she says she's always been able to focus on the mood of performing on stage. Yet, the why so lonely performer admits she isn't immune to the hundreds of thousands of external perceptions of who she is and what she does. Although really difficult, she says there's a separation she tries to make. For instance, whenever I'm on the stage, I try to make my performance perfect, she explains. And whenever I go down the stairs off the stage, I just turn it off and try to stay happy. That way, I won't be tired of being an artist or working as artist Huna. So, I try to be on and off, Huna performing, and Huna off the stage. I also often ask myself, are you okay? She continues. But one day, I realized that it's okay to say that I'm not okay. After that, I was able.